हाई एवरी वन आम सौरव सिंह आस्का एटीन्स आई एच ई फॉर मैथमेटिक्स आई हैव बीन टू आस्का एटीन्स फॉर पास्ट फोर इयर्स एंड आई हैव बीन इंक्लूडिंग एंड कंक्लूडिंग द चैप्टर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स हेर एट आस्का एटीन्स सो इन दिस सेशन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर दैट इज इनवर्स टेक्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन सो जस्ट हैज टू गिव यू ओवर यू ऑफ दैट लेट्स से वेन वी प्रोपेल अ रॉकेट ऑन टू अ स्पेस what has to be the angle of projection what has to be the minimum angle or what has to be the range of angle into which i should project such that it will leave the atmosphere of the earth so starting with these complex calculations in order to find out the minimum height of a lighthouse these are the certain variations of the usage of inverse trigonometric functions that we find out in our day to day lives so in this part of the ask items video lecture we'll try to see the chapter of inverse trigonometric functions and the various applications related to that so let's start hi so let's see what's on the screen i think i see a number which is nothing but 6 or if i can use a bit of imagination i can say that it's not 6 but it can be considered as a number which is 9 so am i seeing the right thing or i'm doing something wrong so let's move on to the next thing 6 9 big question of doubt now this the same thing but a bit of inversion right is it a 6 or 9 is it 6 or 9 or the previous one that i saw was that 6 or 9 oh lots of confusion moving ahead now i have the clear picture what is this and what is this am i doing something wrong am i doing something right Is this six or nine, or nine or six? What's the exact picture? So what I can know from this figure that these two figures are kind of mirror images, but not placed parallelly enough such that I can say that one is the inverse image of the other. Based on the same logic, there is a portion in maths. in which we'll deal with images and certain other formats of trigonometric ratios and quantities which will culminate to the chapter of inverse trigonometric functions so in this chapter we'll read